in, it just is something you can add to your tracks. So basically you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different roto toms, uh, all you know, mapped to MIDI. So you can either program them in, play them on a keyboard, however you like. You have a punch control, which is kind of like a transient kind of thing. You have dynamic, which is how the velocity layers work. And you can see up here, you have the velocity layers. So you've got a soft, medium, and hard. I think there's only three different layers of actual samples. I assuming these are based on samples. Um, and that is where the velocity sits. And you have this really nice reverb that really gives you that sound from Dark Side of the Moon. But of course, you don't have to use it. Then you've got panning here. So panning control for each of these and a gain control for each of these. So if you want to mix them a little differently, pan them a little differently than the stock, you can, of course. Uh, and then if you want to do something even more different, you could run multiple instances and, you know, you can, the world's your oyster when you do that. But if you want to keep the one instance, you do have basic panning and volume control in order to get the mix you want. So what you heard was just how it was set like this. Let's adjust some of the parameters and have a little look. Now, um, I might just turn up just a touch. One thing to note is there isn't any pitch control. That would be something that's really cool so you could tune them a little differently to your song. But yeah, there's no pitch control, unfortunately. But it's a free plugin, so you know, you get what you kind of put in with that. And there are plugins like Talk and stuff that allow you to re-pitch drums. So let's turn the reverb off so we can get a bit more of a voice sound. I'm going to turn up a little bit and then mess with the punch control so you can really hear what that does. So let's take the punch all the way down to zero. So it's kind of like a compressor that you dial in. I think it might be a parallel compressor. I'm not sure from the literature what it actually does. You can hear that tail's coming out a bit more. It's a little bit more punchy. Um, you know, I wasn't hitting the same exact same velocity, but you kind of heard I'm trying to go through all different velocity layers. So I like the punch around here works really well. Look at this dynamic. I'm just going to keep on this, uh, this particular roto tom here. So that's way more dynamic there. And there is pretty much doesn't matter how soft I press it it's all the hard velocity layers. So I think the normal thing would be about here. If you want it to be a lot more dynamic, obviously turn it down. And then you've got the reverb. So if we turn it back up, we can go through the different reverb times. Very simple reverb time and level, but very effective. And of course you can use your own reverb uh, if you prefer that. The reverb is very, very important part of that Pink Floyd sound though. Like without the reverb on, it doesn't really sound anything like it. Put it on and it really gives you that kind of mid um, David Gilmour era, like early David Gilmour, but uh, that mid Pink Floyd era from, you know, 72 to 76-ish. So you can reduce the time, of course. So let's have a listen to it at the lowest time. It's quite short there. As you turn it up, you've got, it's very nice. Doesn't have that long tail, but it's got this nice kind of bloom. Turn it up a bit more. Really starting to get that tail going. And all the way up as we had it before. 
I think I actually like it around the midway point and then we can turn the reverb level down a little bit. Maybe a little bit more punch. Maybe a little bit more time, a little bit more level. Little bit more dynamic. So there isn't much more to it than that. That's kind of all the features that I said. It is a bit of a short video um, for Free Plugin Friday, but like a lot of the ones recently I've been doing, it's not intended to be a plugin that is going to completely take over and do your entire production for you. Instead, it's something that kind of embellishes your production or maybe adds an element that you want in a section in a song. So that was Royo Tom's. Link will be in the description below as always please like and subscribe if you haven't free plugin friday is every single friday and i'll see you next time